Steffi and I are together the way it was always meant to be. How could you? You did. Oh, yes. I did. It's over because I am stepping in. I'm assuming you're alone in here, right? Hey, I, I talked to Hope and she told me about her and Liam and, and it, it's, it's unacceptable, all of it is. Um, but I also talked to Wyatt and he told me something that is also unbelievable. He, um, he took... Can't do that, not Spencer. Ha <laughs> ha, my two favorite guys. Come on in, boys. So what now? What do you mean, what now? Is that any way to greet your own daddy? I don't know, Dad, you tell me. Did something else happen? The sun came up, marking the beginning of another glorious day. Is this like the new you, happy? Bingo. It's a little unsettling. Yeah. You're looking at the new and improved dollar bill, courtesy of the incredible woman who is now by my side. Steffi. Liam Steffi. Yeah. Not anymore. And I had nothing to do with it. Liam sealed his own fate. And now I'm going to seal mine. I want to start planning my wedding to Steffi right away. No, Dad. You don't know. I do know. Walking in on Liam and Hope had to be awful. Yeah, I thought I loved him. Bought into the whole happily ever after fairy tale. So stupid. It's called a fairy tale because it's not real. Just a story some people made up to make us feel good about living in a world where love doesn't matter. What are you saying? I've wised up, Dad. I gave Liam everything I had. Set up this home for him. Gave birth to his daughter. And how does it end? With Hope and Liam hooking up while I'm at home with our little girl. No, it's, it's horrible. It is, but that doesn't mean you have to turn to Spencer. It's more than that, Dad. Bill and I are getting married. All right, well, it won't be a big extravaganza. So there's no time. Steph is as anxious to do this thing as I am. Yeah, but doesn't that tell you something? Steffi rushing into a marriage with you, there, there couldn't have been a lot of forethought. Yeah, enough time for Steffi to know exactly what she wants out of the deal. Forrester, stock. Yeah, well, that's one of the things I admire about Steffi. She's tough. My equal. How many women can I say that about? Zero. Okay, you know what? Listen, don't take this personally, but I, I, I am going to sit this one out. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I have spent way too much time being in the middle between you and Liam that I, I'll miss that finale, if you don't mind. Finale? Yeah. If you can't see that marrying Steffi right now is literally the last blow to your relationship with Liam, then you've just been living in a delusion. You need to take off that ridiculous necklace. You're not marrying Spencer. I am. I deserve to be treated properly with respect. Yes, you do. You deserve that. What has he done? He's, he's lied to you and used you. What are you doing? You don't, you don't love Bill? I don't need to love him. What, what are you saying? I told you, I don't believe in love anymore. Okay, good. That's, that's fine. I get it. You're angry because of what you walked in and you, you have every right. But, but that, that's... Then do something to Liam. Make him suffer no, for what no, he did. I'm not playing games anymore. If Liam finds Hope so irresistible, then he can be with her. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to move on with Bill. And, and you're gonna have his filthy hands, his grubby little hands all over you. I, this is my worst nightmare. Dad, this is not about you. I know it's not about me. What, what about Kelly? Is it about her in some I wasn't way? I thinking about my daughter. Oh, you are? Okay, so you, you want him a constant force in her life? That's what you want? Think about it. You gotta, you gotta stop this before you're in too deep. Dad, I didn't want this to happen. I wanted Liam, but then that night happened and everything Okay, it's fine. Be because Bill took a wrecking ball to your life, to your whole life. I'm not letting you do this. You're not marrying Spencer. It's not gonna happen. I know you're right.
right about Liam. And my deepest regret is that my son wants nothing to do with me. But Liam hates me because of Steffi. And I'm going to marry her. There's no fixing that. You could bow out, give up on Steffi. That'll never happen. I'm serious, Dad. It's, it's one woman. The only woman. Carrying 12.5% shares in Forrester Creation now instead of a bouquet. Best investment I ever made with the greatest future returns. Yeah. And what about Liam? He'll cash in with hope. Dad, you don't know what it's been like walking on eggshells, trying to be good enough for Liam to love again, constantly doing penance for one mistake, and in the end, none of it mattered. I walked in on Hope and Liam hooking up in the forest, your dressing room of all places. It's so disrespectful. Like, I'm done, Dad. I'm done. I'm over it. So you sell your soul to the devil? That's not how I see it. I'm taking control of my life. With Spencer? At least I know where I stand. How, how, how do you know where you stand? You know what he does. You know what he did to Katie, to Brooke, to his own kids. And this is what you want? You want him in your life? He, he doesn't care about anything but himself and money. Well, life's all a business proposition. He gives me what I want, I give him what he wants. Partnership is made. What are you... Are you gonna base your marriage on that? I guess we'll see. Bill and I made a deal. A deal? What deal? In return for marrying him, Bill agreed to give me his 12.5% of Forrester. The company will be all ours again. Full disclosure, even I was getting a little bit discouraged. I mean, things weren't going well with Steffi. All I kept hearing was no. Because she loves Liam. But that switch got flipped the moment she caught Liam with hope. So let that be a lesson to both of you. I never give up, never surrender. Things can change when you least expect it. Now, you sure you don't want to celebrate this momentous occasion, be with your dad the day he marries the woman of his dreams, huh? <laughs> I wish you the best, Dad, but I got to stay neutral in this. Life is just too short, man. All right, suit yourself. I can't wait around for you to change your mind. I want to seal this deal as soon as I can. Why? You afraid Steffi might back out? No, of course not. You bought and paid for a man with forced to shares. I mean, do you really think that's a good way to start a marriage? All right, look, if you can't be happy for me, at least check your cynicism. I'm looking at nothing but happy. But once I have Bill's shares combined- I don't care about the shares. I don't care about the company. I, I care about you. And the thought of you being with a despicable man is... Just... Look at what he's done. What he's done to you, what he's done to me. Dog. He's blown up a whole family. His own granddaughter's family. And you, you want him to, to, to be a, a force and to be around in Kelly's life, really? He will love Kelly. She's his blood. What happened to you? What happened? To my clear-eyed, capable daughter, where'd she go? I've seen better than I have in a really long time. <sighs> Liam screwed up. Hey, I don't condone any of that. He's de-screwed up. But all this started because of you and Bill. Now, Liam found forgiveness, and I think now it's your turn. No, Dad. It's too late. Dad, I really want you to hear me, okay? It's over with Liam. Okay, that's fine. I, I do. I hear that. But that doesn't mean that you need to rebound to that guy. Just be alone for a minute. You know, I made up my mind. <sighs> Bill and I are getting married. Why are you doing this? Look, I know you don't approve. But I gotta do what's necessary. I'm taking control of my life, Dad. This has nothing to do with me approving of anything. I've... I'm looking at you and... Something is shutting down. I don't know what it is, but something is broken. And it breaks my heart. But you think that man, you think Bill can fix any of this? You think he can make it better? No. 
He's going to take you, he's going to dismantle you, and he's going to make you into something that he wants you to be. I'm your dad. This is my job to protect you from that. I did that from the moment you were born. I'm, I'm not going to stop now. Okay. Take off that necklace and stop talking about marrying Spencer. 